Hi everybody, today I'm going to be cutting up uh, my first loaf. Um, I've, I've got some loaves from Vintage Chic Scents and I'm going to have a go at cutting these up. Um, this one is Film Noir, which is Snickerdoodle Marshmallow Cinnamon Donuts. And this loaf, this green one, is Mac Apple Cinnamon Glazed Donuts. Okay, so I think we'll start with um, Swirl. So I'm going to take it out of the tin. Um, now, I've seen other people say that they mic microwave it for 30 seconds per side. Um, so I'm going to start with... Mm, might try 20 seconds per side and see how that goes. Okay, so this is 30, uh, sorry, I did 20 seconds per side. And I'm just seeing how it feels. All right. Okay, so I'm going to just give it a go. Okay. Oh, yes, it's soft. All right, there's a little bit of, sh um, what do you call that? <laughs> like shards, I guess. Um, uh, let's try another cut. Okay, that one's pretty good. Okay, that's good. Oh, that was a bit hard. I think 30 seconds would probably be it. Um, yeah, because at the end there it's quite nice and soft. It's in the middle where it's hard. I'm just really scared it's going to melt the loaf if I put it in too long. Okay, so I melt probably about that each time. Um, and it's really good that bakery bags come with the loaves that you order. So I'm just going to throw them in the tin for now. Yeah, that's that's nice and soft. Maybe I'll try 20, 25 seconds. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh. I think I'd prefer smaller pieces rather than bigger pieces, depending on the um, melter. Depends how much you put it in, like put in it. In my glade, I probably put more than say a tea light candle. Okay, there's a few bits coming off, but it's not too bad. Oh, it smells so nice. Mmm, I smell that, that apple. Mac apple cinnamon glazed donut. Mm. I mainly get the apple from this. Mm. Smells good. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy and painless. <laughs> okay, with only a few little um, pieces that have come off. So that what it looks like so I think that Let's get the camera around. they look pretty good okay there's only a few little bits that that came off so I think that's pretty good for my first first loaf mm, and it smells so good Mm, all right, I'm going to give the other loaf a go now. Okay, so this loaf is film noir, which is snickerdoodle marshmallow cinnamon donuts. And pop it out of the loaf. And this one I'm going to try, I might do 30 seconds. Ooh, 30 seconds aside. Last time I did 20 seconds and it cut through quite nicely. There was a little bit of bits coming off. Um, let's try 30 seconds. Okay, so this is 30 seconds per side. It seemed like ages and I was so scared that um, it would melt. I have noticed that it has cracked. 
down right down the middle so I don't know why that happened um, okay let's try this down the middle oh that's a lot softer yep Yeah. Okay. So then I cut it. This is yeah. I think this is better than the um the twenty seconds per side. It's a lot softer. There's no bits coming off. There's no bits coming off that at all. So I'll put those in the tin. This one smells nice, not as strong as the apple one, but it smells good. Yeah, I don't know why that cracked there, but it doesn't look like it's gone all the way through. Oh, that's soft. <laughs> okay. There's a little bit there. Okay. Hmm. This hasn't got as many pieces coming off. My microwave is, I think it's, it's, a, it's a Whirlpool, a Whirlpool crisp and grill, and I think it's an, a 1,000 watt microwave. I don't know if that means anything to you guys, but it's not like that strong. So if you had a really high wattage microwave, I wouldn't put it on for 30 seconds um, each side. But for mine... I guess if you haven't cut loaves from what I've just done now, um, I'd, I'd probably start on 15 seconds aside and try that. Uh, I'll just show you each of these. Okay. So this was the one that I did 20 seconds aside and there were a little few little bits. This one was 30 seconds aside and it's pretty much cut perfectly without any bits coming off at all. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I've got more loaves to cut, which I'll cut up um, later. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. And it's not so scary now. I don't think I'd ever cut up a loaf without warming it up. Um, because I've cut up chunks before and they sort of go into bits. So I wouldn't even try and cut up a loaf unless you heat it up. I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the bags, cut up. And I ripped the, or peeled as well best I could the labels off the bags and put them onto the bakery bags and they look really good so that's it um, all packed up in their bags ready to melt and I can't wait they smell awesome okay see you later see you next time bye